Okay, so now we need to add the smarts for this button here. What we want to have happen is when they're on these pages here and they click this button and they come back to here, we want to do a check to see if this and this and this variable are all true. If they're all true, show this button called continue. So to do that, we're going to need to go into our advanced actions and create a conditional action. Conditional actions are different than a regular action because what it's doing is it's checking to see if certain conditions are going to be true and if they are, then do something and if they're not, do something else. Well, we don't need to do something else in our conditional statement, so we're just going to use the top portion. But you have the if statement here, so if these things are true, then do these things here. So for us, we're going to do a variable of section 1. If section 1 is equal to the literal of true, and notice the and over here, and section 2 is equal to the literal of true and section 3 is equal to the literal true what do we want to have happen? Well we want to show the continue button. Now, at this point, if there was an else, we would add an else. There's not. Also, you can have multiple conditions. So as you click on each of these things, you can have them differently. You can also name them if we wanted to. So we can call this one um, continue button. So if we needed to show some other things or what have you, you could change those here. So now we're going to save this as an action and we need to set the script name. See, that's something you can't forget. And we're going to call this show continue. If I can spell right. There we go. Show continue. Save it as an action. There we go. So now we're going to close this. Now we need to set that action. So on this page, on the actions, under the on enter, we want to run that um, advanced action because we want it to run the check and see if these are true. So now we're going to preview this application and we're going to preview the project. Okay, so I'll start out as false and there's the check mark for true. Notice there's no continue button. Section 2 there's the second check mark with true. Section 3. Now when we click this button, it's going to run that check again. This button changes the last variable to true, which should trigger the continue button. And there you have it. And it works. So now you have a project that has three check marks that when they're selected, shows a continue button. You can take this concept and apply it to any size project. Just follow the main concepts.